We've talked about gravitational potential energy before in the energy chapter, and in fact, we even talked about this form of gravitational potential energy where the mass in question is far from the surface of the Earth, and you can't really use MGH. It's not proper. Um, but let's revisit it, because now we have a bit more context and a better understanding of what a gravitational field is. So gravitational potential energy is the energy possessed by a mass because of its position in the Earth's gravitational field. In general, because of its position in a gravitational field, most of the time it's the Earth's gravitational field. And in the case of a mass little m that is in the gravitational field of some spherical planet of mass big M, the gravitational potential energy is given by u sub g is minus g big M little m over r. Not to be confused with the force, which is divided by r squared, and is not necessarily negative. Here we have a number, it's a negative number, which is a little weird, and it's minus g m little m over r. And that's the potential energy. So the mass here, orbiting at a distance little r from the center, is going to have a potential energy, not mgh, we can't use that, but instead g big m little m over r. So it's still the case that it depends on its position relative to the surface of the Earth, or in fact relative to the center of the Earth, so it is an energy due to position, that is what potential energy is, and it is the case that at a fixed distance r, it's constant, just like mgh is constant at a given height. It's just that we don't want to confuse the two. So when we talk about problems that deal with satellites and gravitation and planets and so forth, keep in mind that you're very likely going to be using the gravitational potential energy in this form, minus g big M little m over r. Now, fair enough. I mean, it seems strange. We'll talk about it more, and it's going to make more sense, but let's, let's accept it, at least for now, that this is the proper potential energy to use. There is a consequence of this, and something worth pointing out, because we're not used to, we're not used to this having to be the case. Let's put it that way. So we are used to being allowed to choose the reference for gravitational potential energy anywhere. Pick u sub g equals zero where you want, typically the ground, measure all heights from the ground up, and mgh is your potential energy. We've said that a lot. Well, here we don't get to do that. So there's two things to keep in mind in this particular case. First one is that ug is equal to mgh is not the proper potential energy or gravitational potential energy. So there's that. And then another thing, and we're really not used to that, just said we're used to being able to set u sub g equals zero wherever we want. Here, because of the expression of u sub g, we only have one option, and that is that this thing can only be zero when r goes to infinity. So as r approaches infinity, u goes to zero, which means that the reference u equals zero is determined for me. I don't get to pick just any one I want. That's because minus g big M little m over r goes to zero when r goes to infinity. Mathematically, I don't get to dispute that. And so as a consequence, I don't just get to pick u sub g equals zero anywhere. So the consequence is that you cannot pick u sub g equals zero anywhere you want. It has to be the case that you can only claim u sub g is zero if r is infinity, which you could argue never happens mathematically. In physics, though, infinity, weirdly, is an attainable thing. In other words, once you're far enough compared to, let's say, the radius of this planet, you can claim that you're pretty much at infinity and that the gravitational potential energy is zero. So that's um, for another conversation. But the point is, and it's really important, that you cannot go picking any reference for your gravitational potential energy, and you cannot use MGH. 
doesn't work that way for these types of problems. MGH is okay as long as you're really close to the surface of the earth, roller coasters, uh, throwing a ball off a building or whatever, all that stuff's all cool. But when you're talking about gravitation, you need to use this form of the gravitational potential energy, which is associated with this reference, u equals zero, when low r goes to infinity. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't heard of Cogverse Academy before, we're a tutoring company that specializes in creating course companions that help you save time and improve your grades. You tell us which class you're taking, and we'll have a look at your syllabus, old exams, the style of your instructor, and put together a course companion, mapping over lecture notes, videos, practice problems with step-by-step -step solutions, even personalized study guides and access to a private chat for you to ask all your questions. If this sounds like something that might be helpful to you, feel free to check us out at congressacademy.com.